It's okay, baby. Eh? You don't have to be afraid, eh? Don't kill you. Eh? Before you know it, everything will be over. Hmm? It's okay, just take it easy, eh?
Oh, Jane. Daniel. We're waiting for you. Really? Yeah. Why? No, I mean, just, I just want to discuss some big things with you. Why don't you come into the car and let us go? Taking the lecture any longer. The lecture I sent someone to tell us to go. Why? I don't know. I think the rumor is true. You mean um the ASU strike or something? Of course, what of course, what else would it be? I mean the man is a very punctual lecturer. This is the first time he's done this. The last time we spent a whole three months doing nothing at home. The whole three months. I just I don't know. I don't know. No. Speak for yourself alone. I, for one, need that strike desperately. You need a strike? Of course. I mean, if school is in session, how am I supposed to visit Kelvin, who's been asking me to come to Lagos for ages now? Jane, Jane, you see, are you, this is what exactly I really want to talk about. Each time you talk about Jane, I feel very, very sad. I don't know. Very, very sad. You see, you don't know if it's someone else. Maybe probably has forgotten about you. But you know I care for you. I so much care for you. I just want to see, I wanted to see reasons why I'm doing all these things. Jane, please try and understand. Daniel, I understand perfectly well. But there's nothing I can do to help you. I mean, Kevin and I have been dating for a long time and we're as good as engaged. I'm actually going to Lagos to be introduced to his mom. I'm sorry I understand how you feel, but there's nothing I can do about it. So please, direct your attentions elsewhere. Please. Please. Jane, Jane, wait, wait. Just listen to me, don't go. It's just because it's hard for me to take it off my mind. Daniel, this is not the first time we've talked about this. I don't want to talk about it again, please. I've told you, it's not possible. Please. In fact, I have to leave now. Maria and I are going out. Wait, Jane. What? Jane. What? What about me giving you guys a ride to where you're going, going to or something? Thank you very much. It's not necessary. We want to relax and drink for a while. Thanks. Bye. Huh?
Jenny, baby, what are you doing around? I can't remember inviting you to my house today. It's a problem. Trouble? What trouble? Hey, Jenny, my sister is around. She came from the village. And I wouldn't want her to see me with any girl. Keep the problem. I will see you later in the afternoon, please. What's the problem? Problem now. Where are you going with all these bags? Madam. What happened to your madam? Your madam sent you out of the house. So, what am I supposed to do about it? A pregnant for you. You know what? I'm three months pregnant for you. And my madam knows. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you mean by the past gender? I said I am three months pregnant for you. My mother must send me out of the house and you're asking me if I read it. So, where do you want to stay? Where do you want to stay? She asked me to go to the park and go to the Why? Excuse me. Are you telling me that I'm responsible for your pregnancy? Pregnancy is yours and you know it. I begged you. Duke, I begged you. I begged you not to do it, but you forced me. Now you see, see, it's what you put me through. Jen, just look at me. Do I look cheap to you? Do I look cheap to you? Look, if you think you can frame me up with this your pregnancy, you're making a big mistake. Dating you is one of the greatest mistakes I have ever made. And I know for sure that my house is not your final stop. Ladies, you're being somewhere else. Twice somewhere else. Excuse me.
Why are you doing this to yourself? It has happened and it has happened. There's nothing you can do, sister. Barrister, I left my office immediately. I got the news. of his death. are you making about the burial? Well, the investigating team hired for the autopsy, not until they go through the autopsy, we can bury him. Will he bring my son back? Just to find out how he died, what killed him. So please, please stay. I'll do anything you want. Please, madam. This world is cruel. It's so Driven me out of the house. Why? What did you do? Put it up. I've never been so humiliated and disgraced the way I was today. The whole street saw me as an outcast. What happened now? Tell me. What is it? It's a long story. Somehow, my, my mother got the information and she came to the chemist. But we were able to abort the testimony. Didn't you hear me? I did not do it. I said my madam came to the chemist and chased me out of the place. So serious. I went to Duke's house and guess what? I tell me. I divided my lens. What? This guy's not serious. Damn. Yeah, go on. 
This is serious, sir. Children call me names on the streets. It's not like that. Please stop feeling like this. I can't stay here. No, 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 no. I can't stay in this place. Where will you go tonight? Where? Anywhere. I'm to like this. I know somebody in Lagos. I'll go to Lagos. Lagos? Have you been to Lagos before? You can go to Lagos now. Oh, okay. I have a relation and the, I have a letter he wrote to my mother with the address. So I'll, I'll trace his address. Mm. You're fine. You're okay. I have to leave this room. Please take it easy. Just take it easy. I wish I can help you. Eh? I just wish I can help you as a sister. Please. The God that I serve is just to forgive. I'll never trust anyone in my life in here. It's true. Duke! Duke! God will judge you! May I support you? 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 May I Money. Which money is that? I don't know again. The 20,000 I give you. Oh! Okay. Mr. Jane, I'm sorry. I'll just keep the money, right? And it's many 2,000 Naira. Chidika. I'm sorry. I don't know if you're using money so soon. Chidika, how could you? She don't sound like this. It's not my fault. I, just, I gave I... you this money to keep. I know, I know. Please, please. How do you be using money so soon? Two thousand naira. What am I going to do with two thousand naira? Can tell me. Jide, What am I going to do with two thousand? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it this way. Well. Please, I'm coming. Please. Please, please, Sorry, I just realized this morning I used 500 out of the money. And it's only 1-5. Please have to manage this 1-5. Please. Yeah? Please. 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 See, there's this place, they, 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 they don't know what to find. Besides, there's this Abu Africa or this one chance. If you enter one chance, you should take it to Lagos. You should enter Africa and you don't choose. Chidaka! 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 I'll pray for you, eh? See, I'll pray for you, eh? Please. You go and come back save me, eh? Don't worry. Don't see us through, eh? You buy bread when come in, please. Take care, oh. Please, oh. Be careful. Lagos is very bad, oh. Eh, eh. Pour your money very well, oh. The man to go, Donald. So you're drinking and eating. Have you forgotten that we have an appointment? No. I cannot forget that I know we have to go. Relax. We have only 30 minutes to meet up the appointment. I know, but relax. Sit down. Oh. Will you take some beer? Donald. I would like us to beat the time I'm walking there late. No. The appointment is. One thing and go. And 30 minutes is okay for us to do. We want to relax. We have something to do. There's still more time. Well, you say so. 
Are you going to take something? What you take? Madam! We insist. We have to be fast on it. Madam! Please, a bottle of beer. One more bottle. Madam, be fast, please. I want to tell you something. The reason why we are struggling is because of our stomach. I know. So why are you in a hurry? We have more time. The goods are ours. All you say is food, food. You know how you are not going to Madam Please. I think that after this time. Don't you wait? I'm gonna tell you after you for a very long time now. Come. Are you going here? Come. Donald. I hope you did not tell them about anything about me. Tell them what? You know Jen now. I know Jen. That girl I used to stay in Marantin. As she came to my house the other day, she was accusing me of getting her pregnant. Jen? Yes. But well, she's no more there now. Are you sure? Yes. I heard she was fired from Marantin. Uh, yes. More better, no problem. Um, but I believe we should go to the warehouse first. Then we can come back and celebrate. And stay here and go there late. Doctor, which level now? I'll go down. No? Go push up. This is why my people, why I carry for motor today? Why do they disturb me? <laughs> hey, come on, relax. Okay, yeah. This is me. Relax, you don't need to do this, okay? Huh? Alright? Okay. 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 You go.
sorry. Are we in Eagles now? No, we're not. It's a long journey. Do you know where we are? I don't know. I heard of a passenger saying we are past the body. Whatever that is. Boyfriend. Yes. He's handsome. Thank you. He's actually the one I'm going to see in Vegas. His name is Kelvin Oga. How about you? Where are you going? I'm going to see my uncle. Okay. So I'm going to see my uncle. 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 You can imagine that. Oh. That's a coincidence. Yeah, I don't know how to get to my destination. I don't have an address. Same here. Wearing the same shoes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think your boyfriend is lovely. Oh, thank you. I intend getting married next year after my graduation. You guys took my school two years ago. Oh, lucky you. Thank you. How about you? Don't you have a boyfriend? Oh, I used to have a boyfriend, but um, we fell apart. I think you should just try and sort of things with him. I mean, problems will come and go. The money is so big that you just have to be struggle to take time to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know everything will work out for good. Yeah, cool. Like my boyfriend, I know he's crazy about me, but sometimes he does things that really need to be Like in this letter, he was writing to me, he was apologizing for something he did. You can go through it. And I wrote something in return. Just get all the picture, let me get it. And please hold up my bag. So this is going to be done. Last time he told me that uh, he loved me. I told you that this morning. This morning? Yeah. What for? For good morning. Okay, what did you just say? I should tell you that I love you. Are you saying no? Are you doing? You no. Know? Of course you know I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You love me, right? Mm -hmm. But did you know there's a better way to tell somebody that you you love him? How? Can I teach you? Mm -hmm. Now you see, you know, it's in three places. Mm -hmm. So you go like one eye, you go mm -hmm. love. No, 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 it's just eye. Then two love, mm -hmm. and then three love you. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. I love it. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. Do you know how to dance my cousin on the bed? Oh, please don't do it. Ah! It's so long. It's so like entering inside the party. I did it. Are you? Don't be alone, so.
Madam, I implore you to take heart. He is not coming back. And the earlier you live with this knowledge, the better for you. Exactly the same thing I told her. I told her this thing over and over. Sister, this is not the end of life. Have you forgotten what you told me when, we, when our parents died? Everything you told me, I believed you. Why? She needs you right now. Alright? I know how she feels. You see, it is painful to lose a son. And more painful when he is a heir to an already built empire. I know. I understand how you understand everything you say. See, I guarantee you, I will take care of her. There's no problem about it. I know she's downcast. Last. Okay. Yeah, hello. Oh, Vivi. How are you? I'm at home. No, Vivi, I no no, I can't come. We just came back from the barrier. I need to be with my sister, please. You know how she feels now. See, see, let's 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 make it tomorrow, please. Tomorrow. Just any time. Just call me up in the morning. All right. Man. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> me too. Bye. Listen, make sure you keep her company. You can count on me. I'll take you. And tell her I'll see her later. Alright? Thank you so much, Fred, for everything you're doing. Thank you for sharing your time. No problem. It's my duty. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Thanks so much. No problem. Bye -bye. I'll try my best. Bye. Um, one more thing. I will register the death with the authority board and forward all correspondence on her behalf to the appropriate quarter. And I will let her know the outcome of the proceedings soonest. Alright? Thank you. Thank you very much. See, 
do whatever you feel is necessary. Okay? Of course, say me well to Madame and the children. Huh? I'll try my best. See you. Au revoir. Killed my son must surely die one day. I'm happy you left everything to God. Vengeance is his, says the Lord. He will surely judge all men according to their deeds. My sister, it shall be well. Amen. You see, death is a task every one of us has to pay one day. Our prayer only is to see old age. It's okay. For his mercies endureth forever. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just keep praying for me. Oh, we will sure. always do. We will put you in our prayers always. Mm -hmm. Thanks for visiting. Thank you. Thank you. Please take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Life is terrible. Mm -hmm. Some of you saw which day is gone so soon. Uh, does he live here, madam? He used to live here. Then where is he living now? He is craved. and the photograph. She was uh, probably on her way to visit before the accident occurred. His uh, handwriting and his photo. Yes, it is. But he's dead. Uh, the lady was uh, coming to visit for a formal introduction. I don't know her. I've never seen her before. But, uh, supposed to be your daughter in law. Well, my 
Madam, uh, considering this uh, situation, would you now abandon her in the hospital? Anyway, uh, we came, we came because of the contents of the letter. So we thought you would like to, you know, you would like to meet her just as you requested for your son, Kelvin. So. My son is dead. She can't be my daughter-in-law anymore. No. I can't marry her. But, madam, we should be left in the hospital to die. For loving your son, Kelvin. Gentlemen, please. I don't know. I have a lot of things on my hands. Madam, do you really love your son, Kelvin? Sorry, nurse. Oh, where, where is the doctor? In her office, ma'am. I would like to see her. Yeah, I'm coming. Um, in that case, madam, we'll be downstairs in the reception waiting. She been in coma. Mm, ten days. Shortly after, she was brought in here by the police highway patrol team. Doctor, please, if there's anything that could be done to revive her, please do it. She was to be my daughter-in-law. Well, I've given her my best. I really have. Let's just hope she comes out from coma. It will really hurt me if I lose her too. I just lost my son. My God. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry about your son, okay? Did we say she was to be your daughter-in-law? Yes. Well, madam, you see, the truth here is that um, her problem is complex. She's pregnant. Yeah, she is. Doctor, she deserves to leave. I don't care how much is involved. She has to leave. Please. It's okay, madam. Okay, like I said, I will do my best to take care of her. Okay, and I'm promising that I will still do my best for her. Okay. Well, I will visit again. Okay. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. May I have your number, sir? Um, I'll do that, please. I'll do that. Okay. Just call me anytime that you want. I will. And again, madam, I want you to remember that life is in the hand of God. Always remember her in prayers. I will. I will. Thank you very much, Doctor. God bless you. Take care of yourself. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
I will send you to I will. Seeing you this afternoon. After many, many months, you have not seen you. I hope nothing is wrong. Everything is well, you're going to say. It's just that it's Jane, the girl you brought in now. What about her? I scolded her a few days ago. And since then, she has not become a friend. That's why I'm here to see you. You mean you quarrel with her? Not really. Now she's not in the house. Yes. Oh, is she not in your place? You came to look for her in my house. Yes. Why? Because that I noticed she's pregnant. Then no. I have scolded her for four days now. I've been seeing her. You mean she's pregnant? Yes. You may have been looking for her for the past four good days. You've not seen her. Have you reported to the police? No, I have not. No. Have you gone to the mortuary? Mortuary. Yeah. Okay. Since you have not made much effort, please, I will advise you to go to the police. While I get ready, I go to the mortuary. At the end of the day, you come back to me to give me feedback so that we know what we can do. Please, please, don't relent. Please. We need to see her. Hey, what kind of thing is this? I am no longer comfortable. I can no longer comfortable with my work. And I have a lot of jobs here to do. I think you better start going while I get set up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No problem. Take care of yourself. I will. Weeping crying will not solve the problem until we convince ourselves that she's no more. But we will pray we will see her. We pray we will see her. Keep on praying we will see her. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. You're no longer a baby lawyer. You'll soon take over from your uncle. Well, she's really coming up. Ah, oh, that's so beautiful. I just hope my brother Frank will see you. Frank? No wonder Frank has been coming around my office. We're just friends. Ah, friends. <laughs> By the way, what about Vivian? Oh, Vivian. Um, she's on sick leave. Poor oh girl. Oh my god. Well, is my will ready now? Yes, my has been done. Good. That means I'll be in your office soon. I've been waiting.
Authority I gave you enough to represent him? That is the capacity I'm working in. In fact, your new will is ready. Just like you said, 80% of your estate goes to Frank as your next of king. Oh, well, um, this is a copy of the new will. Oh, Frank. I don't think I'm you don't have to. I mean, you have to study just before signing. In fact, you can go home with it and study. Fred, I think there's going to be an alignment. Really? Something just caught up. My son's fiancé had an accident on her way to the city. Oh, what a pity. Right now, she's in the hospital. She's so cold. Jesus. But the good thing there is that she's pregnant. My son. Good news indeed. Well, that means I'm going to be a grandmother. So. <laughs> so. Well, um, <clears throat> I take it. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes, uh, she came out of coma yesterday. Oh, thank God. Rest now. I hope you won't disturb her much. No, 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 no. I just want to know how she's swearing. That's all. I, I hope you don't mind me talking to her. No, please. I understand, but I, I still have to talk to her. Please. Okay then, do it fast. So she just took her medication and she needs rest. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Jim. Jim, how are you? No, sir. She'll be fine. She's hearing you. She's hearing perfectly. Jim? Jim, if you can hear me, blink your eyes. She can hear me? She can hear you now. How are you, my dear? I just want you and the baby to be fine. You know Calvin? Calvin? No, sir. She's hearing you. Jane, Jane, if you can hear me, blink your eyes again. She can, she can hear me. You know Calvin? Just hold on to this one. I wrote something to answer. Yes, my son. He couldn't make it here, so I decided to call. Whatever it 
since whatever you need, just let me know, okay? Okay? She's hearing you. Jennifer, if you can hear me, blink your eyes again. She can hear me. Listen, my dear, whatever it is, I will do for you, okay? I'm sorry, Ma, you have to go now. I'll come back. I'll come back today. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Will you okay? Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thanks for coming. Bye. Yeah.
Super. God. Oh, I'm so happy to see you like this. I told you you would be fine in no time. How are you, my daughter? I'm fine. You can see that. Come on. I brought you some things. I hope you like them. I brought you apples. You can eat. I've washed them. Okay, I still have some here. I'm so happy to see you in this mood. Whatever you need, just let me know. I will give it to you, okay? I know my son would have done his best, but I would have done double. My dear, I don't want to stress you. Just listen while I do the talking. The doctor said that at this rate of your recovery, that you will live here in no time. So, my dear, you will do me a favor. Okay? You have to recover very, very fast. Okay? Let me keep the things I need for you. I got this and this and this for you. You know, four apples. You like it? You're welcome. So up and you can use this Very late. You've forgotten I'm going to work tomorrow. Which work? Look, very soon you're going to have to stop that job. I love my job. But I don't like Fred ordering my girl around. But Fred is paying your girl to be ordered around. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, of course, pay. Wait, wait. wait. Maybe how about the wheel, the wheel thing now? Why are you so interested in the wheel? For oh, Christ's sake, she's my own sister. Her worries are my worries. You know that. Besides, I need to know how she runs the estate. You know, she has nobody but me. You see, I'm really concerned. You know I toy with her. Well, I, I see your worries. I know she has not gotten over the trauma of Kevin's death. I need to know everything. I don't know, she's still on it. I don't know why. Mm. Frank, please let me go now. Eh? It's really getting late. I'd have to go to work tomorrow. Are you done with the drink? Uh, I'm okay, let's go, let's go. Alright, let's go. In the morning. I know. Yeah, I'm 
mein Haus. Aber Haus. Oh mein Gott, I'm so happy. I've never been this happy since my son died. You're welcome. <clears throat> Madam, I want to thank you for your care and your concern. You treated me the way you know treated me. Of course, you're my daughter. My grandchild lives in me. My dear, there is no point to talk. I've told you whatever my son promised you, I will fulfill. Okay? You and your baby. You belong here, okay? Oh, Frank. Frank, where have you been? You were supposed to have come to the hospital with me. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I was actually upstairs. I fell asleep. I'm sorry. Okay, well, that's not the right way to welcome Jane, who just came back from the land of the dead. I didn't mix any action. Oh, Jane. Meet my brother Frank. Frank. Jane. Actually, he was really very close to Kelvin. Oh. I'm going to Hi, sir, baby. I know. It's going to be Kevin's journey. <laughs> You will not take anyway. I called him um, a um, friend. I called him this morning and he promised to be here very soon. Man, since you know that Fred is a worker for you, let us start this party. Let's not wait for Fred. Or let's continue partying while waiting for Fred. Huh? <laughs> it's a party, isn't it? Mm. So let me go upstairs and get the drinks. <laughs> Don't worry, my dear. You will get used to him. He's such a nice person. Okay? <laughs> I've told you whatever my son has promised you, I will fulfill. You're not going to, to, to miss his presence, okay? Choose to be if you want to. But I have to tell you something. I am a woman who has gone through a lot of pain. I really went through a lot of pain to have that boy, Kelvin. If you leave, you will be sending me back to the world of pain again. But if you stay, you will be bringing back that joy. You will keep me alive if you can. Here we are. Your request is not a difficult task. But if I should ask, why are you not comfortable with the first wheel? Oh, well, Fred. Everything I worked for, I did for my son Kelvin. He could have managed my estate effectively. But now that he's no more. But Frank remains your nest of kin. Yes, he was. But I don't trust him anymore. Why? I feel Jane and her unborn child will do better. I will leave my estate for them to manage. Jane? And this is a girl you barely know for a few months. You're right, Fred. I don't trust my brother when it comes to money. Well, as a lawyer, I have the responsibility of rendering a very sound legal advice to you. Well, I have the freedom to exercise authority over the one I want. Don't get me wrong, Fred. Just try and understand me. All I have for Frank I've given him. I know he has always wanted to be in charge. He once had a problem with my son over it. But I don't want him. Unless I don't have an option.
If it so pleases you, I'll ride the wheel the way you want it. Please do. And that's a yes, huh? Yes. Good. to Jane. Jo, you were the only best friend she had. And I've tried so hard to woo her to my side, but all was in vain. I don't know what's the problem. Oh, Daniel, please. You're no longer a kid anymore. You should know when somebody's in love with you or not. Is she in love with somebody else? Well, I'll say she's in love with Kelvin Ogre. And I think you know him. K Kelvin Ogre? Yes, Kelvin Ogre. <laughs> But I love her so much. Oh, please, Daniel. You know, some things in this life are not meant to be. So when they come your way, you let go. You know, you have feelings. Anyway, when is she coming back? You know, I don't know. But she's supposed to have been back by now. I don't know. Anyway, if she comes back, just tell her, I, I, I have to. Uh, yeah, I will. But right now, I'm going to Kaduna to see my aunt. And I was still there for a bit. I was actually thinking if you can find this other than him. Well, if you can make her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Who are you? Um, my, my friend Jane visited him some time ago. So, where are you from? I'm Mary. I'm her roommate in school. Kevin is not. What? Jesus Christ. You can come in and watch me. Tell me, how much do you know about uh, Kevin and his relationship with Jane? Thank you. Everything. She, she tells me everything. Everything? Well, actually, we don't know much about her. We only accepted her because of her conditions. My nephew didn't actually tell me anything about her until he died. And then she surfaced. It's such a pity. I still can't believe that Kelvin is dead. He was such a nice person. To think of he treated us like his own blood sisters. Oh, Kelvin. I have some, some pictures here. There. This this was the pictures we took when we were in school. This this one was. And this one was during Jane's matriculation. And then this one was when Calvin his dad was doing his youth service. Who is Jane? Her? No, this is Jane. This is Jane? Yes. This is Jane. that we know. They are not two. It's only her. Oh. Oh. She's back already. Let's see if it's the gender you are talking about. Okay. 
Are you... Are you sure this is... Jane? Yes, she is. It's the Jane I know. Jane, you're back. Jane. She's not your Jane? Not at all. Well, I'm sorry. That is the Jane that we have in this house. But... Excuse me. visited us, you know, to console us for our grievous pain. Oh, Kevin, may your gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Could it be that fallen angels still roam the streets? Pretending to make people happy. Yes. People are still sad. Do you know why? You don't. It's wonderful. I know who you are, Jane. Just a lion. I 
shut up! Sister, one minute! Maybe that's the next scene. That is scene one, act two. Let's play that scene. I think it's a better scene. She said she She said no, I want... Wait, sister, wait till you call... Sister, Wait, wait, wait. Come do something. That uh, yellow evil guy. Ah, the guy don't park since, since last year, shall I don't park? They say... Say there's somewhere for East. Uh, something like that, shall I? Do you, do you know where I can come? No. I don't know, shall I park come on last year? The poor are along, the along are coming. Oh, shall I come on, shall I? Oh, shake the money, oh, you. Now you give her the belly, you don't Come on, play game. Hold on. Pick you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Game, give me, give me the money. It's 
So I keep it.
Jim. Jim, why? Why did you do this to me? Did I offend you? I'm sorry, Ma. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry about the memories of your son I brought back to you. Why did you come to me? I was homeless. I was hopeless. When I met you, I thought fate had a hand in it. The real Jane. The real Jane had an accident. Something he did. You can go through it. And I wrote something in return. Just get all the picture. Let me get it. I, and please hold up my bag. It's in this thing. Kevin was my only hope of a grandchild. I thought we could just live together, you know, believing you were my son's wife. Your, your child, my grandchild. It's okay, it's okay. We all have our secrets. I think I should share mine with you too. 
Kelvin was not my biological child. I begot him by love. God just gave him to me. Picked him up when he was just two days old. Picked him in a refuse tub. Such a cute boy. Frank, my brother, was, was like a brother to him. In fact, he actually found him to me. I raised him. I raised him the way I could have raised my own child. I gave him home. Jane, I want you to be my son's wife. If you do that, you will bring back joy and happiness. The way the way they were before he died. Hi. Well, I want to remind you before you miss your phone. Thank you very much, Anthony.
send them to the grave and you are going to the grave. You think I'm going to allow my daughter to stranger and come to me with me of what belongs to me?
Let's go, yeah? Well, now, you are not so happy very much. Oh, my God. Happy birthday, son. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. 
understand. Oh well. I will take you to a place where you have never been before. A place where everybody will find rest someday. That's where we're going. You like this my baby first? Son. This is your sixth birthday, right? Yes. Good. This is time for you to start learning what they call sacrifice. In life, you make a lot of sacrifices. And that is what makes you very mature. But I'm still a girl. I'm only sister. You are very correct. You are just six years old, but you are the man of this family, are you not? Good. And that is what makes you more mature. I'm afraid, son, there won't be any birthday present for you this year. Why, like Granny? Because there is more to life than birthdays. That is why we're going to where we're going. When we get there, you will know why you won't have any birthday present this year. Okay? Good boy. Okay. What the problem is, I am getting worried. Are you telling me that we are okay? You see, medically, yes. Until, medically? Yes, until I can dispute that. You can just explain why the babies are not forthcoming. You're telling me that medically I'm okay. Then, why are the children not coming? You see, maybe I believe you are coming for people, you know, probably pressure from family here and there. You just have to give yourself a rest. Relax your mind. Everything is alright. You don't have to worry that much. How long has it been? Is it not only two years, three years? But what is the problem with me? Tell me, you're supposed to tell me. You're my doctor. And I'm not the only one telling you that medically, am I? I know you're not. But I'm getting worried. And I would to believe that someone is behind my inability to have children. I wouldn't want to believe that. See, come off it. I don't believe in you. Four good years now I'm married. I've not visited the voodoo. I've not visited anything that has to do with a, a, a voodoo priest or whatever. So what is the problem? Tell me, what is the problem? I'm getting worried. Uh, so I don't think I'm wrong. The only thing I, uh, I will advise you just to check out yourself, probably you know yourself better. But, Dr. James, I have once impregnated a girl. Yes, I'm telling you. Her name is Jane, but I was very hostile to her when she came to my house to break the news. I walked her away with the pregnancy. Where is she present? I don't know. Could it be that Jane is the problem behind this? Could it be? What do you to believe that? What do you to believe that? I must find you. I must look for you. I must find this to apologize to you. I must look for you. I think you're right. Let's have to. See, I'll see you tomorrow. Then we'll go on to the top. No, sorry. I must look for you. I must find you. I'll see you. Okay, tomorrow.
you die tomorrow? Death is in the nature of man. Let's go. Thank you.